After looking through the booklet, we got an advance showing on it. A lot of you have moved to different parts of the country, and some of us have ended up living in California. Many people have asked me what it's like living out there with the earthquakes and the weird people and everything. I wanted to relate to you what my first impression was when I got out there in 1970. I remember going into this bar, walked in, looked around, and here were these two guys holding hands. Got a little farther in, out to the back of the bar, and in a booth there were two guys actually kissing each other on the lips. So I turned to this guy I'm dancing with. <laughs> So it is a little strange out there, but people are friendly. Five years ago, we had a number of contests where we wanted to find out who had the most kids, who lived the farthest away, and so on. This time, I've kind of done my own little version of the contest, and by looking at guys as they came in and shaking their hands, trying to see who was still the most macho, after all these years, the toughest SOB in the valley. And I believe it's still Dick Austin. <laughs> State wrestling champ in 1961. And I wondered what it was that made Dick still be so macho. So I called his wife a couple of weeks ago and she sent me his daily schedule. This is just a part of it. 10.30 p.m., go to bed. 10.45 p.m., go to sleep. 6.15 a.m., wake up. 6.30 a.m., have a b.m. 6.45 a.m., get out of bed. 7, shower. It's a, and his schedule goes, I mean, he's just very regular and works out all the time. And now, last reunion, we talked about the importance of memorabilia as we grow older. Some of you went to Lincoln School, and we got some bricks. Remember, we went over there and picked up bricks one night, brought them to the class reunion, and passed them out. And those of you that went there really liked them, because you can think about your childhood days. Some of the rest of us didn't get to go to Lincoln, and we don't have any bricks. So, last time, we had Mike Chestnut lead us down the hill. We all gathered out here about 1 o'clock, went down the hill to the old high school. And we're going to have Mike ram the high school, and we're going to go pick up bricks. <laughs> but Mike isn't, Mike isn't here yet. He's been hospitalized. We thought he was going to use his car. But he didn't. Tonight, we're going to keep this very short. If you look at the video from five years ago, we asked how many people wanted to have a 25-year reunion. And there were about 25 people held up their hand, and that's it. <laughs> There's about half strength of what it was five years ago. I guess we should have paid closer attention to the voting. But since it is a small group, we're going to have dinner now, dancing afterwards. We'll take some informal pictures, and we just are very happy that all of you would take the time to get together and come back tonight. So enjoy yourself, and we'll talk with you later.